Hi guys, it's Jill, and today I am working with Astro. He's currently being Azula's stall rest buddy because she cut her shoulder up and has stitches. So he has a little run out area, but I wanted to work with him because he is inside and we have a protected contact situation. He's not out with everybody else. So I wanted to start some target training with him because he actually just missed that entire part. <laughs> He's never done it before, and I just wanted to show you guys what it's like working with a young horse on target training. So I'm just going to hold it out, touch, very good boy. And Astro is naturally curious, so I figured he'd probably touch it. Usually with other horses, I just click for um, looking at it, orienting to it. I don't expect them to touch it at the very beginning, but he's a curious young thing. So you'll also notice he is in my treat pouch, mugging me for treats, which is fine in the beginning. We haven't worked on manners around food. That would be the next thing we do. Boy. So you'll notice I'm just feeding him quite far away from my body because I want him to learn that he has no reason to come into my space and that I'll feed him right where he is. He doesn't have to come to me for food. I go to him. Touch. Very good boy. So to build the association with the clicker, um, I am feeding him pretty immediately after I click. And he is familiar with clicker training a little bit, uh, but we've only ever used scratches as training There we go, boy. He kept his head in a better spot that time. Touch. Boy. Touch. So this is why I like to work in protected contact. I'm waiting on him just to move out of my space. Um, and in protected contact, where he is behind a wall, I can safely step out of his reach so he can't bite me or do anything that would um, provoke a punishment response. So if he gets too close or starts nipping, I can simply step over to the side. And then when he steps away or moves his head away, I can click that and immediately feed him. And also click him for staying in that desired position, like that. And my dog's helping me out by entering the barn, catching his attention. You don't like after all the Very good boy. So I introduced the cue there, which is just me moving my shoulders, um, tipping them slightly away to ask him to keep his head out of my space a little bit, and he did it wonderfully, just like that. So I don't want a full head away movement, just because that's valuable information. If a horse is uncomfortable, sometimes they might, well, you know, move their heads away. So I'm gonna click him for just being in a neutral position with his head between his shoulders. Just like that. So sometimes that may mean he's on his way back to me, but I'm clicking him for being in that particular spot. So I've upped my criteria from just stepping away from me to having his head out of my space and then into a neutral position. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> He'll get there. Hey, thanks, Chris are really, really receptive when it comes to body language because that's how they communicate with one another. So
So just me simply tipping my shoulders away, he picks up on that very, very quickly and understands as well with the click and treat reinforcement that um, this is the behavior I want, I just want it out of my space, and that the food will come with it. So here's where we begin to put these two together. So I ask him to target, click, and then feed him out of my space. So we're just cleaning up that targeting behavior. As I say, touch, very good boy, and wait for food in space, which is much better than where we started with him coming into my space. Touch, after I put it in. <laughs> There's a lot of little animals on the ground. I think we have three cats in here and one dog. Touch, very good. guys enjoyed this short little video uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe I'm hoping to do more videos formatted this way that are just raw quick training sessions so that I can get more content out to you guys and you have more things to watch and I don't have to spend so much time editing let me know if you like this style of video please be sure to comment down below and give it a thumbs up to let me know and what other behaviors you'd like to see short little videos on me doing. So obviously I can't pack all of the information behind the science and the methodology on training into a 10 minute video, but if you'd like more information, be sure to check out the Echo Theory podcast where I spend multiple hours at a time delving into behaviors, the whys, the why nots, how to get started and all of that. You can find all of the information that you need to get started and understand what I'm doing at jetechotheory.com. I'll put all of those links down below as well as some helpful get started articles. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.